Hi, this is Angel Rebo with Mindalia TV, and we are here at the Conscious Life Expo. We are so blessed to, blessed to have here today with us Jackie Lapin. Welcome, Jackie. I'm so pleased to be here, Anhel. Thank you. Thank you very much. J Jackie is this extraordinary um, human being that's been working on the practical side of conscious creation. I like practical. I think everybody appreciates practical. So could you tell us how could we make something which sounds like very abstract, like consciousness and conscious creation into a practical habit? Well, you know, I think most people are familiar with the concept of manifesting and visualization. And that's sort of the generic overview. But in order to experience being a better, faster manifester, you have to be doing things every day that is going to raise your frequency and be in a position that um, are going to the thing, do the things that are going to actually make things happen for you. And so what I have done is to say, okay, what thoughts can we think, what projects can we do, what actions can we take that in fact will lead us to living a more high frequency, higher consciousness life. So that it's little baby steps, one at a time, that begin to build up into a way of life that mm -hmm, changes. Mm -hmm. It's not this overall concept of, what do I do right now? What do I think? How do I change? How do I approach this? It's going to make a daily experience turn into a lifetime of experience. You mentioned frequency and high frequency. How does the high frequency relate to manifestation? Well, the key is that we are f beings of energy. And how the energy work is that we're all vibrating certain energy into the world, certain frequencies. And low frequencies are fear and anxiety and worry and disappointment. High frequencies are love and joy and peace and trust. When you're vibrating low frequencies, then you're going to be attracting back more experiences that are going to have you experience those low frequencies. The universe is going to feed you back what you're already thinking about. If you're vibrating in the, and, and by the way, when you're vibrating in the low range, then it's like living, driving a car with the brakes on. Everything is difficult. Nothing works well. But if you're vibrating in the high range, which is all of those positive uh, frequencies, then you're actually getting closer to the frequency of the divine, which mm -hmm. God's frequency is love. Mm -hmm. So the closer you get to love, the more it is that not only you're going to experience more of the positive frequencies, but the universe actually carries you along. It's like having the wind in your sails uh, in a sailboat. All of a sudden, it's picking you up and carrying you along. And that's when you begin to see synchronicities. Things happen easily and effortlessly, and life is just unfolding in beautiful and, so, and, and, and fabulous ways. So there's a definite correspondence between how high your frequency is and how easy your life becomes and how quick you start manifesting. Mm -hmm. Because when you're vibrating in that high range, then you can become a better, faster manifester. Okay. So if you reach consistently this high frequency, that means that only with being consistently at that high frequency, you are going to be manifesting automatically? Yes, but it doesn't mean you're not going to experience you know, down times or difficulties. It means that you're going to meet them with an attitude that's going to get past the obstacles much faster mm -hmm. and that's going to open more doors mm -hmm. and that's going to and and if you're operating in that high frequency range you're going to see op opportunities whereas somebody that's operating in the low frequency and is just feeling like a victim you're not that person isn't going to see those opportunities coming their way and act on them the way somebody who's living a high frequency life does Okay, on a, in a practical way, could you tell us an example of living in high frequency? Well, a lot of it is the way you look at the world. Um, if you start getting hit with negative experiences or you're experiencing, if you really just look at the world and assume that all is actually well, that everything is happening for a reason that is in your highest and best good, then you're not going to get up so over the little stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, don't sweat the small stuff, as they say. You're not going to get caught up in other people's dramas. Mm -hmm. You're not going to 
fall into a hole if you hit an obstacle. You're going to say, okay, what's the next step? What can I do? What's possible for me? As opposed to just say, oh God, I'm going to fall in a hole today. You know, and we all have those days. And as I was just saying in the presentation I was making, I am a naturally glass half empty person, not a naturally glass half full. I have to teach myself. I have to check myself. I have to say, okay, I'm, I'm having a bad day right now. And if I don't change my attitude right now, tomorrow is going to be worse. And so I make the conscious decision to what steps do I have to do to shift my thinking right now? Okay, Can, do, I, do I go take a walk? Do I get in, out into nature? Do I play with the puppy dog? Do I go sniff my roses? I have 300 roses. Um, do I um, call a friend? Do I tackle something that's been a challenge for me and just to get it out of the way? Mm -hmm. One of the, I was, I was saying that there, one of the most low frequency things you can do is procrastinate. Because if you procrastinate, all you're doing is engendering all that negative thinking about, oh, I need to do this, I don't want to do this, what can I do instead of this? And the guilt that you feel about all that, that's all low frequency stuff. Mm -hmm. Get it done. And think of it with a positive. I'm going to get this done, I'm going to have fun doing it. Or the outcome is going to be much better than I even think it's going to be. I came to this presentation today thinking to myself, Hey, I'm going to have a great room full of people. It's, it may be 4 o'clock in the afternoon when all the traffic is coming, but I'm going to have a great room. And I had a fabulous room full of people, and they <laughs> loved every minute of it because I chose to believe and to put out to the universe that good things were going to happen. To the you know, millions of um, viewers that Mindalia TV has, what would you recommend them? Because obviously we have our ups and downs, you know, highs and lows. How could we tell them or teach them in a practical way, you know, to be more in the highs than in the lows? How could we do that? I'm going to give you some questions. Oh, okay. These are great questions to ask that are going to start shifting your thinking. Okay. Okay. So for, first one was, what time zone am I in? And that doesn't mean West Coast time zone or East Coast time zone. That means, am I in the past thinking about oh, woe is me and all the bad things that happened before? Mm -hmm. Or am I in the future thinking about what's going to happen and oh, I'm so worried and concerned? Or am I in this time zone right now and living in this experience and uh, having wonderful opportunities to engage with people or enjoy my life or do good work or whatever that may be? Mm -hmm. What must I become? H how can I, what is it that I must do to become the person I want to do? to experience what I want to experience because you're attracting in that frequency you want to be at the frequency of whatever it is that you want to achieve if you want to feel abundant you need if you want to be abundant you have to feel abundant you have to you have to feel that you are an, a, a, an enriched person mm -hmm. and you want to be able to give away to people because wow you've got money everywhere you mm -hmm. know and you want to help others um, and you're generous and you are doing things from a place of abundance. So what must I become? Another one is, what would my soul do? If this wasn't a, a problem to me today, I would ask my soul, what was my soul like to do? Mm -hmm. And my soul will tell me the truth. That's the path that I need to take for myself. Um, what really matters here? When the doo-doo is hitting the fan, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you're just thinking, uh, Think about what really matters. What's important here? Then you're going to put aside the things that are not important. You're not going to engage with people's craziness. You're not going to get petty over something. You're going to think the important thing is for me to care about this person. The important mm -hmm. thing is to maintain my integrity. The important thing here is to do the work that I feel that is contributing to the world. Um, does this make me want to take a drink? Does this want me to do, you know, you're going to think twice about things. What does my soul want me to really do? Um, what do I need to forgive today? Mm -hmm. And that could be forgiving myself. Mm -hmm. It could be forgiving someone else. But if you choose, if you ask your question, ask yourself that question, what do I need to mm -hmm. forgive today? You're going to see a shift in your frequency significantly and then do that. So imagine 
the, th those are great questions, and you know they make you reflect, stop, reflect, take ownership of, take stock of the current situation. But you know we're so busy today. Mm -hmm. We are so we have, you know, we are really bombarded by so many impulses continuously. Yeah. So if someone has is still is not getting to that high frequency that will allow them to manifest a different life, what would you still recommend them to do? Couple. Like. There are a couple yeah. of things. Okay. The first thing is to exercise. 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 Physical activity will always shift your energy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've told women who have been disempowered a lot of times, I say, get out and run, go do bicycling, take a spin class, do a yoga class. And especially when you start to do those kinds of empowering, empowering things, you will see a shift in your head. Another one is simply meditating, being in a quiet place, mm -hmm. um, and giving yourself the downtime to really experience your inner life, mm -hmm. uh, and to remember that one of my favorite meditations is a very simple one. It's to breathe in, start that breathing process, and just repeat again. The mantra is peace, just peace, peace, peace. And I can tell you, it changes my frequency immediately. And another one is music. Mm -hmm. If there is music that you love that talks to your soul, spend, get away from the crowd, get away from the work, get away from the busyness, and just listen to the mu music that talks to your soul. Mm -hmm. Those three things will okay. make a big difference. Would you be able to share with us one example of maybe someone that you have helped to manifest how you, know, you were able to help that person to raise his energy, his frequency, and then maybe make a big difference in his or her life? I've been, I've had women in my life who have gone through some very challenging things in relationships. Mm -hmm. And the problem in most cases is that they've been made to feel like it's them. And when you begin to exercise, when you begin to choose to move away from people that are not serving you and you have encouragement to support that mm -hmm. and to be realized that you are not dependent on others, that you are not, um, you are not limited by others, that you can chart your own path and that you can begin to find a way that to make you happy, not mm -hmm. try to make other people happy. I've seen remarkable changes. Um, mm -hmm. a, a one woman in particular who went on to do extraordinary things with her life. Excellent. Excellent. So we, we are about to finish our interview, but b before we do that, we would love to have you advise, give a piece of advice to all our you know, millions of viewers worldwide so that they can get to know Jackie Lapping a little bit better. Thank you. When you begin your day, Hold a vision of what it is you would like to see happen in that day. Imagine the day as you would like to see it unfold. Blot out anything about, oh, this could go wrong or that go wrong. Assuming that if there's somebody that could be a challenge in your life, throw your beautiful pink love net over them um, and then go ahead and, um, and, and you'll find that your day will be much better than if you anticipate all the things are going to go wrong or just let it go. Um, in my books, Practical Conscious Creation and The Art of Conscious Creation, mm -hmm. um, these books, this is 70 li little tips and 70 little uh, different articles on ways to do that. And these are the 25 guiding universal principles that build the foundation for conscious creation. And um, these are really quick and easy ways to shift the way that you can live your life and so I really encourage people to find a new path that's going to empower them to live a life of their choosing rather than letting life happen. Excellent. Well thank you very much Jackie. Thank you very much. And this is again, this is uh, Angel Rebo with uh, Mindalia TV from the Conscious Life Expo. Thank you very much for being with us today.